something I love. I asked Meanie this as well. The Blonde Bitch Project. Talk about... Uh, okay, in fact, just tell people what it was, because I don't think many people really remember it. So from beginning to end, the whole story of the vignettes and where they were going to lead before they were taken off TV. This, this actually leads into Vince being out of touch with a lot of things and maybe the problems you and Dutch talk about a lot too. The Blind Bitch Project was obviously a parody of the Blair Witch Project, which was the most popular. People didn't know if it was a, even a movie at the time. They thought it might have been a documentary. It was that that much of a a good marketing push behind the movie. I can say I can say from my experience, so I was 12 at the time and I couldn't make head nor tail of it. I actually thought it was a documentary. So they did do, like for a 12-year-old me, they did a great job. Yeah, so we knew it was a hot button thing and it wasn't exposed yet. So Vince Russo, Ed Farrar wanted us to do the Blonde Bitch Project and also Sable was suing the company, I believe. So anybody who has any kind of heat with the company, they're all for being petty and making fun of them. So we went to many, we went to Ed Farrar's house in his basement and a bunch of other places, filmed parodies of us with the camcorders and all that stuff. And then I was in the sable outfit in the corner with my head in the corner <laughs> with the blonde wig. And that was the blonde bitch project. Russo and Ed bought it, brought it to Vince McMahon and he had no idea what it was. And he goes, and they go, they try to explain the movie. This is what the movie is and what people think. And he goes, nobody's ever going to watch that. He goes, I wouldn't watch that. So they ended up scrapping it because of the lawsuit. That was the reason given, I guess, publicly, but privately Vince just didn't get it. <laughs> well, and that was 1999. He was out of touch Vince when it came to that. What was the uh, sort of punchline if it were to have aired in its entirety? Me doing the sable line with my back to the meaning going, Stevie, what's wrong? What's right? And I did the, all the ladies came to, be or all the ladies want to be me and all the guys came to see it like in that robotic promo voice yeah that was it and then when i turned around the camera like did the thing like at the end of the player <laughs> uh I, I asked this meanie he could remember it uh do you remember i think it was meanie playing wwf in your house which in that time was a really lame game like it was like four four years out of date do you remember the character he was playing as in the game in the vignette I don't, but I remember we did the, the video and it was part of the our vignettes too for when we were teaming up. I, I don't remember who he played as. It was Ahmed Johnson, which was just the greatest Oh, pick. he did the Ahmed Johnson uh, imitation too. <laughs> did he? As he was beating somebody up. <laughs> and then, he did the, you were starting to annoy me line. That's what Meany had done to make fun of him. <laughs> I, I can't remember. This is so long since I watched the first one as well. I'm sure. Was it you off camera just going, you're a loser as well? I was like, so That's 90s. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 